Wishmaster is a 1997 dark fantasy horror film directed by Robert Kurtzman. We all know him from doing special effects for the highly anticipated TV show The Walking Dead. Together with Greg Nicotaro, they both work on special effects for the show, also work together on the film. And don't be fooled by Wes Craven's subtitle. He only worked as an executive producer. Andrew Devoff stars as the Jinn, an evil version of the genie who is stuck in the jewel in which he calls his prison and will capture the soul of a woman who frees him. He then grants the person three wishes and when the third wish is granted, the Jinn will can release his army on earth. The woman who releases him is Alexander Amberson, played by Tammy Lauren, a genealogist who does an okay job here, along with Divov. The story is not that bad, but I hate the special effects. Too much CGI. The only thing good was the gore. Scared the hell out of me when I was younger. But it's the cameos I love in this film. They were great. You got horror icons like Robert Eglin, who played Freddy Krueger, Ted Raimi, Kane Hodder, who played Jason Voorhees, Tony Todd, who played Candyman, Joseph Pilato from The Day of the Dead, Tom Savini, and Reggie Bannister from the Phantasm films. Oh yeah, speaking of Phantasm, you know who this is? Once in a time before time, God breathed life into the universe, and the light gave birth to angels, and the earth gave birth to man, and the fire gave birth to the jinn, creatures condemned to dwell in the void between the worlds. Yep, Angus Scrim, who played the tall man from the films. The score was composed by an, another well-known horror composer, Harry Manfredini, who did the Friday the 13th films, which is not bad. Overall, it was an okay movie for its time. I just thought since Wes Craven's name was attached to it, it's going to be a classic gem like Scream or Nightmare on Elm Street. Wishmaster 2 Evil Never Dies is a dark fantasy horror film directed by Jack Shoulder. A thief, Morgana, played by Holly Fields, accidentally frees an ancient supernatural creature known as the Jinn, played by Andrew Divoff. The Jinn lets Morgana get away and takes responsibility for the crime. Now that is disguised as human, the Jinn is arrested and sent to jail. He can now claim the souls of the prison population. On the outside, Morgana and the priest reunite to bottle the Jinn for good. This is getting a little worse than the first film because of the lack of storyline and less gore. The only thing I liked about this is Divoff once again plays a Jinn. Some of the wishes are ridiculously stupid, like this scene. What the hell? Anyways, the reason why even Rotten Dramaos got a low score, and I agree, was that the movie didn't release in theaters. Thank God I didn't waste my money on this. Wishmaster 3 Beyond the Gates of Hell, also known as Wishmaster 3 Devil's Stone in the United Kingdom, is a 2001 American fantasy horror film directed by Chris Angel. Nope, not this Chris Angel, this one. Jason Connery and AJ Cook stars in this third installment of the Wishmaster franchise. Although John Novak replaces Andrew Divov in the Jinn in the movie, which I didn't like, Andrew Divov was great. What happened? Another sequel, I didn't like how these movies have become more of a teenage drama. There's no gore and the witches are cheap kills. And the new Jin looks so stupid. And why does he have to steal the different face? Why didn't they do that in the previous films? What the hell? What's he doing? Anyways, the human form of the gym is Professor Barash, played by J Jason Connery. It was just a bad choice. Another thing I didn't like was AJ Cook's character Diana Collins, wished for an angel to come to protect her. So the soul of the angel possesses her boyfriend Greg, played by Tomas Miller. It's funny, I thought he looked like Chris Pine. Anyway, when the angel possesses him, he just changes his voice and makes it seem that's not him. Such a bad acting. And why is he a douchebag? Isn't he supposed to be an angel? Overall, not a film that I recommend to watch for Halloween. Wishmaster The Prophecy Fulfilled is a 2002 Canadian dark fantasy horror film directed by Chris Angel once again and starring Michael Tuchel, Tara Spencer Nairn, Jason Thompson, Victor Webster, Kimberly Huey, and John Novak. 
is the fourth and final installment in the Wishmaster series. This is the mother of all stupidity horror films. I wouldn't even call it a horror film. It just acts like a television action fantasy episode. Like this. What is this, Highlander? Even though John Novak returns of the Jinn form once again, they recast it apart from the Jinn's human form, and even worse than the previous actor. I don't know none of the actors, only Naren, who we all know from the Corner Gas TV series, and she's terrible in this. She has sex a lot, and even gets fr frisky with the Jinn himself. Okay? And now the Jinn falls in love with a human woman? Okay. I'm glad this movie is the last film in the franchise because after this, it's just really bad. The worst in the franchise for sure. Wishmaster? More like Stinkmaster.